Hello and welcome to our coverage of the WNBA on 2K Sports. And tonight we've got the Minnesota Lynx playing against the Washington Mystics. I'm Blake Suniga and with me at the broadcast table are Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi. And controlling the glass is how both of these teams try to control the game. Yeah, and when you talk about controlling the game, Blake, you know, you talk about pace and the number of possessions in the game as well. Rebounding teams can kind of control that. Well, that's why you got to expect a physical, grinded-out toe. Old-school basketball is my favorite. Now here's Cloud. Della Don. Pass to Sykes. Clock at six. Launches it. And Collier pulls it down. About one minute played here so far in the first. Good. First shot, first basket. With fancy handles and the confidence to create, Nafisa Collier is exceptional offensively. Deladon outside. Pass to Sykes. Back to Deladon. Austin. Sykes with the ball. Takes the three. Yes, and it's Alina Deladon picking up the assist. Well, beyond the arc, Sykes can be pretty choosy. But she finds an angle she likes and drills it. And so, just over a minute and a half played. Here's Court Queen. The three ball. And Nafisa Collier hits from deep. How about that for a response? We'll give you a three, and then we'll take it right back. It's turning into a three-point contest. Here's Cloud. Sykes outside. Pass to Deladon. Hawkins right side. To the middle. And looking back to those 2019 finals, they came down to a deciding game five. Tasha Cloud, man, she was huge for Washington. 18 giant points, some clutch moments from Cloud. She was excellent during that entire 2019 playoff run, bringing the Mystics their first ever title. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And she can't get the first one. And the second free throw, good. Now here is Goddess. Pass to Collier. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Stolen by Hawkins. Deladon outside. No good that time. Natalia Chanwa playing some nice defense. From outside the arc. And that one's good. Goddess. And you got to give uh, credit to Collier for the find. Her 6'2 height allows her to have a clean view of the court. Doesn't miss open teammates. Here's Cloud. And here in the first, three minutes in. Pass to Deladon. The three, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Brittany Sykes. Looks like she took that last three a little personal. Hey, do you blame her? That was some payback right there. Court Queen. She's guarded by Sykes. Juhas can't get it to go. Washington trailing. Cloud outside. Back to Sykes. Pass to Deladon. Over Collier. 
again, the mystic score. A confident shooter who never really hesitates. If Deladon gets a look, she's taking it and usually making it. Now here is Goddess. For three. And Nafisa Collier with the three. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. And here's Washington. Sykes outside. Pass to Hawkins. Sykes. Just five on the clock. Della Don. And another three for Washington. Goddess with the ball. And here's Juhas. Here's Port Queen. Another three for Minnesota. And here's Cloud. Pass to Hawkins. Elena Deladon on the wing. Six to shoot. Again, the Mystic score. I like the way she's taking advantage of what the defense is giving her, and she's been a key contributor for them this quarter. Pass to Achanwa. Court Queen. Collier outside. Here's Court Queen. And a miss there on the triple. Now Cloud. Della Don covered by Goddess. Sykes outside, and there's the foul. It'll go on court That's her first foul. Tough call there, and a tough break for the D. But I don't have a problem with the call, Tim. She looked like she was still sliding in there. Hawkins outside. Della Don. Shot clock at six. To the paint. Here's Sykes. Yes, and it's Elena Della Don picking up the assist. And the lead goes right back over. What a seesaw battle we've got here. Absolutely. This game's right there for the taking, but neither team can grab it. Somebody's got to take charge. Let's see how it plays out. Now here's Collier. Eight points for her. Pass to Goddess. The three is up. Can't hit that one. The Mystics leading. Here's Cloud. Inside. Della Don. And the shot is good. She's looking pretty confident out there, huh? Five of seven so far from the field. Now here is Goddess. Time out, time now out. a timeout called by Minnesota. And for those teams starting out kind of slow, many people just chalk it up to cobwebs. The important thing is that a win is a win. Wins now count the same as wins later. But so do losses. The difference for good teams, I guess, winning later gives them momentum heading into the postseason.
And here are the links now. Trailing by four. Yes, and it's Nafisa Collier picking up the assist. There has not been much defense to speak of, of yet, has there? Nope. It's been all offense all the time here early. Now here's Deladon. He's got 12. Cloud can't get it to go. McBride outside. Pass to Goddess. It's in. That's her third field goal of the game. She's three for five. Very well done. Confident and composed as always. Outside Atkins. Back to Deladon. Here's Atkins. Down low. Here's Cloud. Natalia Chanwa grabs the board. Collier outside. Pass to Goddess. Stolen by Deladon. To the inside. Atkins uses the glass to finish the layout. Bustling her way in for the board. Austin using her instincts. The Lynx trailing. Collier outside. And a foul on Natasha Cloud. That is her first foul of the game. Team's first. First team foul. Substitution on the court. Right outside. To the paint. Just for a shoot. Fires from the wing. And the rebound goes to the Mystics. Not sure what the D was doing there. She's not the player to give open looks to, but they got away with it that time. And it's Atkins missing. Here's a chance for them to retake the lead. They've done well to stick around these last few minutes. Out to the left wing. Here's Goddess. Elena Deladon with the rebound. Great rebound there, but they haven't been very strong on the glass so far. Let's see if they can change that. Yeah, a little disparity there in the rebounding numbers, but uh, some of that comes down to how the ball bounces. We'll see if it evens out. Now here's Hawkins, oh! and she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. And it's going to be on Jessica Shepard. And Hawkins doesn't fear contact. In fact, she embraces it on the way up. It's her first trip to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And she makes the first. So she hits one of two from the strike. Pass to Allen. Now McBride. Down low. Shepard got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. Everybody always thinks it's passing that gets you assists, but also their movement off the ball, it's created those opportunities. Free throws aren't normally the first thing you bring up, but Kayla McBride may be the best ever from the stripe. After her career, Kayla, usually hovering around that 90% mark, only Elena Deladon is ahead of her. And that just tells you how much McBride takes pride in the heat tips. Back to Deladon. Fires for three. And a great assist by Christy Tolliver as that one goes in. 
Yeah, and she's looked pretty good to start. I mean, now six of eight from the field. Shepard with it. Three-pointer. Court queen. That's good. Well, you got to give it to Shepard. She keeps her eyes up and her options open. Shot and game clock separated by five. Outside Atkins. Pass to Deladon. He's still feeling it. Again, the Mystic score. Well, you gotta like her shot selection today. She set the bar for the rest of the team. Big ride with the ball. Deladon's there. Allen with it. One second left. Oh, no good on the buzzer beater. Check out Tolliver's determination on defense. He embraces the challenge of shutting down opponents. And so that's a lot of scoring in a competitive first quarter. Mystics ahead, leading by just two. And we'll be back with you shortly. Close game here as we get back to the second quarter. And for the Mystics, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? I love the hustle they're showing here in the first. It's showing up on the scoreboard, too. A lot of second chance points. And as you said, it's due to the hustle. The Mystics leading. Deladon outside. Pulls it. In it goes for the eighth time in ten attempts. Another basket. And if you were to create an offensive player, it might look like Elena Deladon. The size, the skill to score from anywhere. Now here's Shepard. Here's Court Queen. Off target with the three. The Mystics on offense. They lead by four. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. That's her second foul, and the last thing she wants to do is pick up a third foul here because it's just way too early in the game for that. Here's Allen. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. to Shepard. Just five to shoot. Up top, Allen. Puts it up. That falls. Great assist by Kayla McBride. Always looking for holes in the defense. It's McBride's recognition that allows her to slice up any defensive scheme. Washington calls timeout.
we play just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. Deladon outside. Goes up from the top of the key. Rebound by the Lynx. Even though she missed it, she couldn't pass up that chance. Yeah, they don't come much easier than that. And it's Court Queen missing. Well, after hitting those two three balls in the first quarter, it looks like she's cooled down a bit here in the second. Ariel Atkins on the wing, inside. Pass to Deladon. Yes, and a nice assist from Maisha Hines Allen. Just comfortable scoring everywhere on the court. Deladon showing her mid range game. Now, Court Queen. Shepard with it. Right outside. Now here's Allen. And she drops it in from the low post. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Now here's Deladon. 21 points in the game. The baseline J. Oliver, no good. The Lynx trailing. To the left side wing. Pass to Court Queen. Buries the long range jumper. She's picking up where she left off in the first quarter, from downtown at least. Outside Atkins. Here's Deladon. Powers covering. From deep, Ariel Atkins. And the Mystics hit again from deep. With an unwavering work ethic, Atkins has just about mastered the three ball. Three minutes of action thus far in the second quarter. Pass to Court Queen. And the Lynx, another three. And that makes it two three-pointers in each quarter for her so far. Outside Tolliver. Jacks up a three. She's now one for two with that one. Confident answer from Tolliver at the arc. One of the top three-point shooters in the entire league. Here's Court Queen. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. So it's Washington now. Puts one up from 19. Again, the Mystic score. Well, with a developed scores mentality, Tolliver's the kind of player that every single coach in the league wants on their team. Right outside. Pass to Court Queen for three. The shot's good, and Kayla McBride making the play. That's her fifth three-pointer of the half, filling it up. Oliver. He has five. From the arc. And Powers pulls it down. And here are the Lynx now. They trail by one. For three, Kayla McBride. Egbo pulls it in. And Washington has possession. Christy Tolliver for three. Cans it from downtown. Unfazed by that scoreless first quarter, and she's heating up. Pass to Court Queen. Right outside. Puts up a three. That one falls through. It's her six make from the floor this game, and now six for ten. She's having an unbelievable game from three time point out, range. How long can she keep this up? Time called here. The Mystics decide to talk it over.
On defense, the links. They trail by one. And that one's good, Austin. Everything you could possibly want in a guard, Brittany Sykes is a tremendous distributor. Here's Goddess. Seven points in the game. To the middle. Here's Achanwa. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. She did so well to lead her teammate right to the ideal spot. That's the kind of playmaking coaches like to see. Now here's Hawkins. Loud outside. Pass to Austin. That one's good, and so Natasha Cloud gets the assist. Keeping her eyes up and her options open. Natasha Cloud is surgical in her approach. Achanwa can't get it to go. There was just enough defensive pressure to get her off balance. Pass to Hawkins. Sykes. Screen by Austin. There's the three. Achanwa pulls it in. Here's Court Queen. He's got 18. And here's McBride. Oh. And she banks in the layup. Finishing plays around the basket with various strong finishes. McBride is feared whenever she's on the court. Here's Cloud. Pass to Atkins. Now Austin. It's Brittany Sykes on the wing. Screened by Austin. Here's Sykes. Misses the three. It's rare to see her come up empty on such a wide open look. Collier outside. That's her fourth basket of this game, and she's only taken four shots. Off to a good start. These kinds of finishes will energize Collier's entire team. That's the power of fearless basketball, guys. Now here's Austin. He's got six. Sykes with the bucket. Now here is Goddess. Time called here. Out. The Lynx decide to talk it over. You know, twice now, Brittany Sykes has led the league in total steals. And that was in back-to-back -back seasons. Her defensive instincts are razor sharp, and she can put the cuffs on any offense. to court queen Collier outside six on the shot clock and there's the pick shoots from 12 the second chance effort the mystics pull it in you see defenders afraid to get in her way a lot of times when she's on her way to the bucket but not that time back to deladon 
Sykes. And another three for Washington. They're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five buckets are from three-point range. The defense, they have to close out quicker. Here's Juhas. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Collier outside. Pulls up from the top of the key. Again, Nafisa Collier missing. Yeah, she's been off her game this quarter. Just hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go down. Deladon covered by Collier. Near Sykes. No good on the three. It seems like they're getting a little complacent here in the second quarter. Yeah, we've seen their free throw attempts stagnate. Not uh, getting much going inside. They can't get too comfortable. Here's Juhas. For three and a piece of Collier. Drains it from beyond the arc. And Collier knows she has the green light to take these shots. Love how fast she makes decisions. Loud outside. And the foul called on the Pisa Collier. That is her first foul of the game. Team's first. First team foul. Sykes outside. Della Don. They double team Elena Della Don. Five on the clock. Loud outside. From deep. Chanwa pulls it in. The Lynx trailing. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Collier outside. Another miss by Nafisa Collier. Sykes outside. Good on the 13th putter. And the coaching staff loves seeing this from Sykes. Demonstrating the ability to create and pick and rolls. She drains the three, but let's see. They may need to review it. I'm not sure the ball. The previous play is under review. Before heading to the locker room, they're going to bring out the monitor and see if she got it off in time. Yeah, and I'll be pretty honest. It looks pretty clear cut on the instant replay. The ball was out of her hands in time. I think they'll confirm this one pretty quickly. Well, after the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. The clock is still ticking when it left her fingertips. And they've taken a look at it, and they're overturning the call. They're calling the basket good. Well, guys, this is why we have replay, to make sure the officials don't miss any calls. Good job to take the second look at it. It would have really been a shame if they'd been cheated out of those points. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. The Mystics on top, leading by a point. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. And it's been a back and forth game with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter getting started here. What can you say? Elena Della Don, an impressive effort here today. She went absolutely off those first two quarters, guys. And she's capable of doing that each night she hits the floor. We might see some changes here in the defensive approach they use as we hit the second half. Well, they've got to make some sort of change, right? I mean, they can't let her continue to torch them like she has been. 
The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first two quarters. Pass to Austin. Sykes with the ball. Three-pointer. The rebound by Goddess. Collier outside. Juhas guarded by Austin. Back to Collier. At basket number six to her stat sheet. She's now six for ten. Great to see her score inside. Collier is an all-around forward, capable of scoring in a variety of ways, including in the paint. Deladon outside. Cloud. Pass to Sykes. Deladon outside. Three-pointer Natasha Cloud. Good on the three-point shot. Credit to Cloud. Her three-point percentage has significantly increased during her time in the league. Now the Lynx with it. Two-point game. Port Queen. She's guarded by Sykes. It's stolen by Natasha Cloud. Minnesota grabs the miss. And here's the fast break. Here's Goddess. Shakira Austin with the block. Well, her teammates, her coaches love it. Austin, big time rejection. 90 seconds into the second half now. Up top, Della Don. Clock at six. Three-pointer Natasha Cloud. And another three for Washington. Check out the dish from Della Don. When teams lock in on her, she knows how to take advantage. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. And the Lynx miss again. The Mystics with the lead. Well, Brian, Elena Deladon is the definition of consistency in the WNBA. She really is. A decade in this league and still producing at a high level. Multiple MVPs. All-star in more than half of her seasons. A deadly scorer. I could go on and on about Elena Deladon. Here's you, Haas. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. That one drops for her. Well-executed possession and a well-controlled shot. The Mystics on offense. Pass to Sykes. Hawkins. And here's Cloud. Here's Austin. Another shot. Deladon outside. Sykes. And Washington again with the bucket. Oh, wow. Tough distance, but Sykes makes it look routine. Pass to Achanwa. And here's Juhas. Collier outside. 13 feet out. Left side of Chanwa. Now Court Queen. She's guarded by Sykes. Shoots a three. The Mystics pull it in. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Pass to Hawkins. Elena Deladon on the wing. Cloud. Yes, and it's Elena Deladon picking up the assist. Well, she sets up so many of her teammates. Nice to see Cloud being the one getting the pass. Goddess with the ball. She's got 10. Collier outside. They waste no time getting those three points back. And it looks like she still has some of the shooting touch that she did in the first. Hawkins outside. Pass to Austin. Sykes outside. Shot clock at three. Wing shot on the way. That one, no good. 
I, okay, look, look. I know she isn't having the best of games from the floor, but it hasn't seemed to hurt them. Pass to you, Haas. John one. Another three for Minnesota. The silky J of a on display. The Canadian getting it done. Washington calls timeout. Cloud. Ten points for her. Pass to Sykes. Fires from deep. The Mystics again can't hit. The Lynx trailing. And here's Court Queen. He's got 18 to the inside. And that one's good. Goddess. That's just great ball movement. And that's key this run. Passing it with a purpose. The D has not been able to keep up. Sykes outside. Back to Cloud. Down low. Della Don. Good on the bucket. Just so effective down low. Della Don's combination of touch and size from this area is lethal. Court Queen. She's guarded by Sykes. Offensive rebound. Here's Court Queen. That three off the mark. So it's Washington now. They've led by as much as 10. Sykes outside. Pass to Austin. Deladon outside. They double team Elena Deladon. Loud outside. She's good on the three ball. As hot as she's been this quarter, the game plan should be simple. Get her the ball and get out of the way. And here are the links now. They trail by seven. Goddess with the ball. Cloud picks her up. Drops in the tray. That three puts them well within three. striking distance, guys. She's had that shot working for her tonight. You bet she has. I mean, look, the triple has just been her bread and butter in this ball game. Now here's Cloud. He's got 13. Pass to Sykes. That's tipped. It's stolen by Goddess. And here we go. And that one is stuffed right through. Sharp steal and the run out. It looks like they're ready to put the hammer down. We've been waiting for one of these teams to pull away. Maybe that will be a springboard for Maybe them. it'll inspire them. I think it could inspire them. I mean, a dunk like that coming off a great defensive play has to build them some momentum. Now Goddess. She's got 12. Timeout, now timeout. a timeout called by Minnesota.
make substitutions. On defense, the Mystics. They lead by four. Now here's Powers. He's covered closely. Here's Collier. Good. And the assist goes to Ariel Powers. Her scoring this quarter has been off the charts, doing all she can to bring them back. And in each of her first two seasons, Nafisa Collier led the league in minutes played. Incredible. And she didn't just stack up minutes. Collier is the rare player that gives you all of the five major stats, the five major food groups. Points, boards, assists, steals, blocks. Collier, she gives you it all. Yes, it's good. Hey, look, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint, and they keep scoring points. And you know, Brian there's not really a lot you can do as a defense when they keep getting in the paint like they have been on this run. Pass to Egbo. Atkins. Loud outside. Inside. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Pushing it up now. And the basket by McBride. Another good pass. Impressive offensive execution from them. Yeah, passing has kept the defense off balance. Four straight field goals made off an assist. Washington trailing. Loud outside. Pass to Austin. It's Brittany Sykes on the wing. Screened by Austin. Here's Sykes. It's hauled in by the Lynx. She certainly has not been at her best this quarter, to, to say the least. To the paint. Collier inside. She's guarded by Sykes. And that'll be Minnesota's ball as it goes out of bounds. Lynx able to keep the ball here. And the Lynx making a change here. Goddess. No good on the quick three. Yeah, the great shooters, they know when they've got enough opening to go through the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice there. Yeah, not very good defensive coverage that time. The D got lucky. To the middle. And Powers pulls it down. The Lynx with the lead. Shepard the screen. And Ariel Powers, here we go. And she gets it to go. Showing off the muscle on that contact finish. Please tell me you didn't think a little contact would disrupt Shepard. They're really on back foot at this point. Yeah, at both ends of the floor. Things are just not going their way. Pass to Atkins. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Now here's Della Dawn. That drops and it comes off an assist from Ariel Atkins. All the three-pointers coming off her fingers have been right on the money. McBride, right side. Aerial Powers on the wing. Good if it goes! We're at the end of the third quarter, and we've still got a close one. Wings ahead, leading by a point. And time for a short break. Stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. start up the action in the fourth quarter and if it's anything like the first three we should be in for a treat here's powers pass to allen 
Down low. Shepard. And so she earns a trip to the line. Official saw the contact, and she'll shoot two. A great scorer and rebounder in college. I can't wait to see Shepard do that in the WNBA for years and years. Well, one thing you have to love about Jessica Shepard is her ability to play make Take from the break. forward Take position. Well, she grew Two up shots. playing one through five, so at this point, it's all very instinctual for her. She's so good at getting the rebound and leading the break. First free throw is good. Second free throw, no good. Missed a chance to put them up three. That's going to affect how they set up on defense this trip. Pass to Tolliver. Inside. Here's Deladon. And it's good. The game is all even. A brilliant distributor. Tolliver excels at scanning the court and dishing the rock. Powers. Allen. She's covered by Tolliver. Shepard, the screen. Teardrop shot. Allen's shot is off. 60 ticks off the clock here in the fourth. Christy Tolliver for three. Minnesota grabs the miss. Gets it to go. They're finding lanes to the hoop every time down. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Or at least some fight. Now here's Tolliver. Pass to Deladon to take the lead. Rebounded by McBride. Now Allen. And Tolliver picks up the foul. That's her first foul. Yeah, she had an established position. And that's the call you want the refs to make in that situation. If there's any doubt at all, it should be a block. I agree. Give the offense the benefit of the doubt. Now here's Allen. Pass to McBride. Shoots it. Sinks it. One range from downtown. Yeah, the determination to score from that distance comes from McBride's unwavering commitment to being the best. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Here's Atkins. Deladon with it. Beyond the arc. The shot, no good. McBride outside. Up top, Allen. Shepard. Egbo pulls it in. Outside, Atkins. A little over two and a half minutes have passed by now here in the fourth quarter. Outside, Tolliver. Five to shoot. He can't get that one to fall. Well, it wasn't a block officially, but it might as well been. She really affected that shot. Yeah, it was clearly her defense that threw her off there. Pass to McBride. Now here's Court Queen. Egbo pulls it in. Now here's Tolliver. Atkins with it. Powers covering. Trying to get back on track. And Atkins with the lay-in. It's good. Just tremendous instincts from Ariel Atkins. She sees an opening and drives right in to score. And here are the links now. 
here in the fourth. They've only allowed just four points. Pass to McBride. There's the triple. Drills it from outside. They've gotten a lot of good looks and have been absolutely lethal from behind the three-point line. Defensively, they have to get out there. Even if it opens up some driving lanes, they just can't keep giving up these open looks. Washington calls timeout. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now for this fourth quarter. Loud outside. Back to Deladon. Hawkins sinks the triple. This is her game. Hawkins is great at setting herself up to shoot as soon as the pass gets to her. Nick Ride with the ball. Pass to Court Queen. They double her with Sykes. McBride misses. The Mystics trailing. Loud outside. Now Deladon. Here's Sykes. No good. That would have tied it. McBride outside. Here's Collier. That falls. Great assist by Kayla McBride. Don't let her position or a 6'2 height fool you. Call your moves like a guard, a tough cover as the roller. Now here's Cloud. McBride covering. Pass to Deladon. Launches a three. The three-pointer is on target. She's on her way to putting up a big three-point total. Here's Minnesota. Two-point game. And here's Court Queen. She's guarded by Sykes. To the inside. Here's Collier. The shot will not fall. Loud outside. Austin. Pass to Deladon. Now here is Sykes. She's guarded by Court Queen. Six to shoot. To Deladon to take the lead and another three for Washington. They're going back to the three point shot over and over again. We might have found the Achilles heel of this defense. That was their ninth straight point from beyond the arc. McBride outside. Pass to Collier. shot from the low post is good. A great game for her offensively. She's been a factor. And here's Cloud. Della Dawn with it. Sykes outside. Pass to Della Dawn. And here's Austin. Over McBride. And Washington again with the bucket. Opportunistic shot by Austin. Finds the mid-range look and doesn't waste it. Minnesota trailing. 
Minnesota calls a timeout. Well, for Elena Deladon, she shoots it at about 40% from three for her career. And that's with a 6-5 frame. I mean, Deladon, really one of the first stretch bigs in the WNBA. She revolutionized that position. Court Queen. Goddess. Knocks down the three balls. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. She did that to a degree in the first half, and she's doing it now in the second. Now here's Cloud. And she can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Not only is the game neck and neck, but the rebounding battle is too. Very tight game on the boards. Yeah, both teams have put in a terrific effort down low. Here's Collier. Down low. Pass to you, Haas. And Hawkins pulls it down. Deladon outside. Loud outside. Back to Deladon. Here's the three. It doesn't go for her. The Lynx with the lead. Here's Court Queen. Nafisa Collier on the wing. Nafisa Collier draws the double team. Shot clock at six. Achanwa. Good. Big time shot playing on every big stage. The game's Final Fours, WNBA Finals. Achanwa's experience is pivotal in big moments. Now here is Sykes. He's guarded by Court Queen. Natasha Cloud from outside. Mystics keep it alive. And good that time. When it comes to these key moments, the big moments, Shakira Austin not shy at all. Now here is Goddess. Defense right on her. Cloud with it. Now guarded by Collier. Pass to Sykes. on outside from downtown and the three ball is good another big time play by Delada he's who this team looks for in big big spots now the Lynx with it now here's Goddess that's the Collier it's over Delada and it's Collier missing well, she didn't have a hand in her face, so I thought she was for sure going to bury that. Sykes covered by Goddess. Outside for Cloud. Eladon outside. Clock at six. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. And here are the links now. Here's Goddess. Buries it. Just so clutch. You know, when the pressure is at its absolute highest, 
That's when she's at her absolute best. Washington calls timeout. Outside for Cloud. The Mystics again can't hit. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Oh, you're. It's in! I respect Collier's ability to show poise under pressure. You don't always see that from younger players. Time called here. The Mystics decide to talk it over. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Inside. And it's Austin missing. And they foul intentionally, and they're going to have to do it again. They're not in the penalty yet. And that's just what they have to do in order to, to get that ball back. Yeah, to me, that's a good foul. Clock management, crucial at this time of the game. And so they foul intentionally. First person to foul, teams first. Fourth team foul. At the line for the away team. Number three. Shooting two. He hits the first one, and that puts them up five.
And so she drops them both. And it's a six-point ball game. No mistakes there, and I think you can close the book on this one, guys. It's good from beyond the arc. A go-to scoring option in the clutch. Deladon has a remarkable ability to stay poised under pressure. Gets the first, and that gives them a four point cushion. And she hits both free throws, and it's a five point game. Deladon outside. This one for three. That shot off the mark. So we see the Leafs get the win here. A narrow win under difficult circumstances as the visiting team. But that didn't seem to bother them one bit. Road team, hope team. All I know is at the end of the day, they were the better team. So that's going to do it for this one, folks.